Hi, I'm Patrick. And I'm Liv. And this is the Maki -E Vlog. We are at the New York International Auto Show and we are going to go on a tour and look for as many EVs as we can find. So let's go. So we're going to start with one of the most exciting EVs that's right behind us right now, and that's the F-150 Lightning. It's launching later this month on April 26th. A little bit noisy there as it's squeaking around. But of course, F-150 Lightning is the all-electric truck from Ford, and it's coming out again just a couple of weeks now. And here at the auto show, you can go for a ride in it in the indoor track. As we did. Woo! And we are a Mach-E channel, so of course we have to show off a couple of Mach-E's. Uh, there are a lot actually here. We have another video if you check out our channel that has like all the different Mach-E's that are on display here. This is a ice white Mach-E that was a special edition for 2022 and there's a Cyber Orange GT behind us. And then we're going to spin around here. We will go over here to the E-Transit, which is a work van from Ford. It's all electric and very exciting it's being made in the u.s and there's also a factory in europe making it for the european market and then of course we have the f-150 lightning but now we get to check out the mega power front yay right over here we love the mega power front because there is still the drain down below you have power outlets it's super useful super awesome and uh kind of pac-man style <laughs> Now let's go find another Ford electric vehicle that you may not know, and they're not actually selling this, but it is here on display and we actually got to ride in it. That's another video. If you want to look <laughs> up the F100 Illuminator and what it is, it's a 1970s F100 series truck that they put a Mach-E motor and battery in it to show the potential of converting existing cars uh, into electric and we'll go ahead and swing around and there it is uh, Again, check out our other video where we got to ride in it and we have some uh, extra footage of it And you can see this is the track where Ford is demoing all of their EVs. So at various times you'll see a Mach-E um, The F-150 Lightning the e transit has not been going around but occasionally the F-100 Illuminator has so now that we're done with the Ford EVs, right across the street, I guess you could say, <laughs> is Nissan. They have a Nissan Leaf, which everybody, of course, is familiar with. It's one of the most popular EVs ever. They've sold a ton of those. And then we also have a, a few Arias on display. This will be coming out later this year uh, from Nissan. We got to ride in one yesterday and sit in one. So we should have another video coming out on the Nissan Aria if it's not already out. This is one of the demo models. This is the one we got to sit in. Again, apologies, that's Ford having fun with the F-150 Lightning. Um, this is all electric and it's gonna be a CCS charged car versus Chatamo like the old Nissan Leaf. It's gonna have about 300 miles of range and ProPilot 2.0, so it's like a hands-free driving system. 389 horsepower. I'm just, I'm just reading off the chart so you can also look up all of this stuff yourself. But very cool to see Nissan uh, come with a successor to the Nissan Leaf. And this is, I think, going to be a very strong competitor in the SUV size EV market. If you watched our video from the LA Auto Show where we found all EVs, you'll know that we passed the Chevy booth because they didn't have a single EV on display. We're pleased to say that here at the New York Auto Show, they have the Silverado. We got to take a tour of this and look inside it uh, and get a, uh, more details about a bunch of the features that they're going to include on the Silverado. This is going on sale uh, later next year, I believe. Is that, yeah, 2023. So it, it should be coming soon. And it's a really fantastic competitor to the F-150 Lightning. It has a really similar trunk style, or frunk style too. Frunk style. Like a mini mega power frunk. So now you actually have options in this segment, obviously with other vehicles too, but they are not necessarily present. So also, obviously a Chevy offering, we have the Bolt and the Bolt EV. The, 
the boat, of course, uh, had some issues, we'll say. Everybody's pretty familiar with that. They went out of production. They stopped production for a while while they fixed the battery fire issue. That was really LG's fault, I think. But anyways, it's back in production. It's actually a great value uh, EV and a really good size as well. And it has some nice features. It has uh, Super Cruise. It's a slightly different from the like, Cadillac Super Cruise, but still a very nice uh, uh, ADAS system. So if you are looking for an inexpensive EV, this is a good option to consider. And something really interesting about the bolts is that they also come with some assistant, assistance packages for getting chargers installed. So we don't have all the details, but we'll put them down below. Um, and that's kind of cool. You might know that sound and think it's not an EV. It's just a regular old V8. But let's take a look at what we have here. Beautiful, beautiful. Looks like a retro Cobra, but it's actually an EV. And one of the things that's really cool about this is how lightweight it is. I forget how, uh, what the, how many pounds it is, but they were bragging about how lightweight the, uh, I think it's carbon fiber shell is. We'll pop up some details now on that, but let's go take a look at it. Now we are entering the Subaru booth. Uh, if you could tell things change, that is because they have a really interesting layout. There is green grass below us and now there's snow. Um, that's the whole spiel with Subaru is vehicles that you can use in all sorts of terrain and all sorts of weather, like the Subaru Solterra. If that looks familiar, that is because it shares the platform with the Toyota BZ4F. Um, but I gotta say the Subaru setup is one of my favorites though. At certain points it actually snows. That's something we saw Looking in LA as well. Yeah, we haven't seen it today so far, I don't think, but um, it's really it's really fun and, and the vehicle is cool too. The biggest selling point of course being, in my opinion, that it is over eight inches in clearance. So that is, that's super cool. Can we see that? Yeah, it looks pretty high yeah, from pretty here. High All right, on to the next. There's a newish company that was here at the New York International Auto Show, and that is VinFast. They are from Vietnam, and they brought three different cars here. The VF8 and VF9, we saw at the LA Auto Show, but they were named something different, but they also brought the VF7. So let's go take a look at all three of those. So exciting to see the VF7, which we have not been able to see in person until now. We actually got to get up on stage with the VF9 and the VF8, check them out. We chatted with Sanjay, who is responsible for some of the internal workings. Super cool, and we even got a ride in the VF8 yesterday. So we will link that video for you. VinFast actually announced details about their battery subscription just yesterday here at the New York Auto Show. So we will link to details about that too, because we were really curious and it's really uh, non-traditional. So here's the VinFast VF9. This is one of two vehicles that they announced that they will be building in their new North Carolina factory, but they will be building them in Vietnam and bringing them to the US first. But once the factory is online, they will be building it in North Carolina. This is a seven passenger. This is the larger of the two. And then down here is the BF8, which we got to take a ride in yesterday. Very nice inside, very uh, well built for a pre-production vehicle. I was a little bit concerned because it doesn't have a driver's screen, but it has a heads up display that makes up for that. And we were very impressed. So we made this separate video for that one as well that we will try to get out very soon. We also spoke to Sanjay, who's over there right now. If you can see him, I think you can see yeah. him. Uh, uh, and he told us about a lot of the, the very cool tech features that are, they're building into the car, including voice commands. So uh, very cool stuff coming out from VivFast. And we're excited to see them make the entry into the US market, as well as building a plant in North Carolina where I'm from. So that's really cool to check out. So next up, we are walking over to the Kia booth. They have two really great EVs uh, in their lineup right now. One is the EV6 and here it is. Phenomenal. <laughs> the Kia EV6 is one of the most direct competitors to the Mach-E. 
and I think that aesthetically it's probably the closest competitor. I, I personally quite like the aesthetics of it. I think it's beautiful. And yesterday we got to take a ride at an EV6 GT downstairs on the EV test track. If you're coming to the New York Auto Show, you definitely got to check out the EV test track. They have, I believe, six different EV models that you can uh, get a ride in. Maybe a little bit longer wait for some than others, but I uh, highly encourage you to check that out. Here's another EV6 that they have. I love this color. This is uh, one of my favorites on the EV6. The first one we saw in the wild in Denver was this one. It's like a matte silver very nice or stealth silver as uh, a lot of people will call it they'll get a wrap on their car that looks like this this is this is actually how the paint is let's peek at the interior just because the doors are open it's something that i particularly love about this vehicle it's very similar in setup to the ionic 5 but there's just something really sexy about it like it's i i really like it comes free with a patrick it comes free with me um, yeah, pretty pretty good interior. I don't like uh, the cup holders particularly, but you know that's a minor thing. The screen size is, uh, I think, good size. It's not huge, and it's well integrated. And um, just overall, the materials in here very nice and performance oriented. It, it feels like it's like a performance oriented cockpit. So I give it a thumbs up. And here we have the Kia Concept Nine, which we saw unveiled at the LA Auto Show. This is gonna be a really interesting vehicle once we see it come to fruition in a couple of years. So let's move on. So the Kia Nero is being refreshed for 2023. They will still have a gas version and a hybrid version. Behind us right now is the EV version. I think it looks a lot better. I like the uh, two-tone, you can't really see it here, but on the one in the distance, that's the hybrid. Uh, the the two-tone, it's a little bit odd. I haven't ever seen this type of design on a car, but they pull it off pretty well. I really like it. I think the Nero is an amazing offering and it's one of the more petite SUVs on the market, which is needed. You guys, if you watch as much, you know that this is my body style that I like. I want more petite SUVs. So the Nero is, is a fantastic offering and I'm glad that they did the redesign or re refresh. Are you feeling refreshed? I think it feels refreshed. Next up, VW, Yay. one of Liv's favorite is the ID4, and they have a few ID4s. I think this is the first time I've seen a red one. It's really pretty, especially with a gray top. The, the interior is, I don't know if I like that brown, the brown and gray. I think it's maybe a little bit too dark. I don't know. I don't love it, but I like that they have multiple color options that are somewhat non-traditional. Speaking of which, their brand new vehicle is traditional and non-traditional at the same time. Of course, we're talking about the ID Buzz, which we got to sit in earlier. We get to sit in, we got a great tour of the interior and exterior features of the ID Buzz. Um, I love it. A lot of people were worried that they're trying to take the traditional bus and how would it translate to an EV. I think they pulled it off very well. And the, one of the essential things about it to make it uh, look retro is that two-tone paint. This one is, of course, yellow and white, but they have like a blue and white and a red and white. They all look fantastic. This is the only one on display and it's actually a European spec. The U.S. version will be released and will not be in the U.S. for over another year. So we still have a little bit more waiting to do. And actually, this is not white. It is candy white, which is really sort of typifying what the whole vehicle is, which is very cute, uh, just very iconic. There's so many cute features about it. Uh, a lot of things that are echoed in the ID4 are present in the ID Buzz, as well as some cute little hidden Easter eggs that we really enjoyed. And you can find them in our video. That was the Hyundai Ionic 5 that just went by several of them. Uh, there were three of them and it actually won three awards <laughs> at the New York International Auto Show this year. It won World Car of the Year, World EV of the Year, and World Design. Car Design of the Year. So lots of awards for the Ionic 5 and um, we love the car. It's actually a little bit funky and quirky. 
I, it has fast charging, which I am envious of. Uh, a lot of decent tech inside and roomy, spacious, and retro. Yeah, it's a great offering. This is the 2022 Hyundai Kona Electric, and I actually really like this. Once again, we have a smaller EV. This is about $34,000 and gets around about 250 miles of range. So this is fantastic for city driving, potential for longer driving too, but really, really a great offering. And I like this a lot. I think it's cute. Another EV that we actually have a dedicated video on is the Indy One. Not only did we get to drive in this, but Patrick even got to kill zombies. Super fun. Check that out. Let's continue. The Indy is a really interesting vehicle because it is designed by a bunch of uh, game developers. It's an LA based company, which you can also see in the colors uh, that you can get in the vehicle. There's a huge bunch of options and colors, which is really non-traditional and also the way in which they've designed the vehicle and and sort of some of these systems around it are very untraditional too. But we do have a video about that if you want more details. We are now walking through the Toyota booth and what we have behind us is the BZ4X. If it looks familiar, that is because it shares a platform with the Subaru Solterra, but this is Toyota's offering for a new electric vehicle. We did see this at the LA Auto Show too. So here it is in New York. So now we're walking through Stellantis, which is of course like Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep. They don't have any 100% EVs right now, but they do have a concept that's coming out in 2025 and it's the Airflow. I think that's a great name for an EV, but it of course goes back to uh, many, many years ago. So let's take a look at it real quick. At the New York International Auto Show, they also had the World Car Award winners. And here is a very cool one. It won the Performance Car of the Year. It's the Audi e-tron GT. We drove a RS e-tron GT and we have a video of that. Love the car. Um, and then this is one of Liv's favorites. The winner of the World Luxury Car is of course the Mercedes EQS. We have a video on that and yeah, it's luxury. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. Uh, not so much on the outside, but the inside. <laughs> but I do have to say, uh, I'm not a fan of a lot of the versions and the paint color that I've seen on the EQS, but if you're going to get an EQS, I recommend this color. I, I really like it. It's a sort of like a stealth silver gray that I was just talking about over on the EV6. Looks really good on the Mercedes EQS. And then as I mentioned, the Ionic 5, it won three different awards here. So they have it on display here as well as like on the test track. And here are all the awards that it won. Moving away from all these award winners, we have the Mercedes EQS as a luxury vehicle, but now we have luxury, we have performance, we have power, especially in the Porsche Taycan, as you can see over there in the white. What is that white I called? Is it just called white? No, it's, this is chalk. It's chalk, that's right. Sorry, it's hard to tell. Sometimes with show lighting, it's really hard to tell. I believe this is just white, um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful car in any color. I love the Taycan look and all the paint jobs that they gave this car. Obviously, some things that set this vehicle apart is the incredible charging speed. It's so powerful, uh, but also we saw it at the LA Auto Show in that green Mamba, which I particularly love. So the amounts of options that you can have to customize this is mind-blowing. Of course, that comes with a pretty huge cost too. Onward. Now we are heading down to the lower floor where they have a test track and some other good fun stuff. Of course, it's not just electric cars that they have here. There are also a lot of electric bike manufacturers and electric scooter manufacturers. We're walking through that section. I wish we had time. We're running out of time. To, the show's getting ready to close in like 20 minutes, but there are a lot of companies here 
Bio yeah. Ride, Jupiter Bike, Spark Cycle Works, and Jetson. So if you're interested, check those out and maybe we will try to include more of that stuff on our channel. It's something we're interested in anyways. I actually have a recumbent trike that has been outfitted with an additional electric assist and that's made by Bionics who aren't around anymore, but we're really interested in that kind of adaptive equipment as well. So uh, let us know down below if you are too. And beyond the bikes, there are a ton of EV related industries down on the ground floor as well as the EV test track. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk through. These aren't manufacturer uh, displays. They're usually as like there's Con Edison, NYPD is down here, or Department of Corrections, I'm sorry. So we're gonna go check out some of those. One of the first ones is this. This is actually really cool. It's a Bollinger, which I've heard about, but I've never seen. So it's really cool to see one here. And first time I've seen it, maybe the first time you've seen one. Oh no, you've probably seen a lot. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long two days already. Um, good thing we have this exciting rapid red maki over there to pep us up. And what else do we have? Why we have another maki here by Con Edison. Uh, right there, branded vehicle. And they may be shutting down the EV test track. So we're gonna go over there and at least take a look at it. One of the vehicles that we were excited, we got to take a ride in yesterday was the Nissan Aria. From what the person driving said is like, we're one of the first people to actually get to, to ride in it. I'm gonna flip it around so you can see. They had six EVs out yesterday that we could hop in. We didn't get to do all of them, but we did do the Vinfast VF8, the Kia EV6 GT, as well as that uh, Nissan Aria. But and I, the Indy One. And the Indy One, I forgot about the yeah. Indy One. That was the coolest. They had like a <laughs> VR headset that I got to put on because there's like a gaming computer built into the car. So that was like really cool. Um, and it's really loud here though. <laughs> yeah, let, let's go someplace quieter. We're gonna walk down here. This this is a really cool area. If you're coming to the New York Auto Show, make sure you go downstairs and you'll see a lot of really cool stuff. We're coming up on a really cool company called Gravity and they are basically an EV taxi company and they're getting ready to roll out the Tesla Model Y as one of their taxi offerings but they've also been using the Mach-E. So they have a bright yellow, not a cyber orange, but like a bright yellow uh, Mach-E that they're using as a taxi. And I was told yesterday that color that's on this, it's the same one on the Transformers movie, Bumblebee. So very, very, very bright. I don't even think it's uh, as bright on camera as it is in person. And then Liv wants to, apply for our new job just so she can drive this one. I don't think so, but I will take the car. Here we have a beautiful shadow black Mikey that is owned by the Department of Correction. And it has these really interesting decals, which are matte. They're not matte. They're like close to black tone. Uh, I mean, it looks really sleek and menacing. On a little side note, apparently there are tiny little mini uh, police cars. What are they called? Smart cars. They're smart cars. So some of the police have smart cars. I think this is much more scary and menacing. And I'd, uh, <laughs> this guy works with good, Indy that we checked at. Very good dude, very good company. And uh, we've had fun checking out their cars today. And then we're just going to explore some more. Volvo actually does have a, a booth down here for the C40 recharge. And the I believe this one is an XC40 recharge. Um, oh, I didn't show you. I got to show you the C40. <laughs> so there's the C40 recharged by Volvo. And then on the other side, they have the XC40. So I'll show you that one real quick. <laughs> and then we go over here, there's some experimental uh, EV vehicles. There's the electric ambulance. I don't know if that one is actually in production and used. This one is definitely a concept and I don't understand it. Um, 
America's first all electric zero emissions ambulance. Leading the charge in mobile medical care. And then this one, like, have you ever seen anything so crazy? That is. I guess they could use something like that in Colorado up in the mountains. And this over here. Over zero emissions, 100% uh, electric powered sanitation vehicle. Trash truck. Trash truck. I'm like, what is that called? Garbage truck. There you go. An electric s street <laughs> sweeper. <laughs> Go take a look. Come with me. That's really cool. What an interesting vehicle. Hi, Patrick. Hello, I'll take this one here. <laughs> Around here, over on, on this side, we have a electric bus. And almost every city has a I wouldn't say a problem, but diesel powered buses are so smelly. Uh, having an electric version would be very welcome by me and many others, I'm sure. And they're also doing lots of little jumps and little stops at slower speeds around the city. It's, it's kind of perfect. And then down here, we are going to take a look. These are all the EVs that are out on the test track. So we'll start. I'll go around this giant pole, but we have a Chevy Bolt. Um, this is the EV, uh, Indy EV booth. But and I just say, um, I was gonna show you guys the colors that they have available. Look how many interesting colors they have. I'm partial to Melrose myself. Um, and Laguna. Laguna's really nice. So kind of interesting. The blue one. Yeah. yeah. And there's the DF. Eight, which is by Vinfast, Vietnamese company. Enjoyed our ride in that. And then a Kia EV6. And basically the process is you have to go sign a waiver uh, with the, the New York Auto Show and then you hop into whatever line that you want for the car to go and do the test track. And as soon as you're done with one, you can hop out and then hop into another. And uh, try them all out if I were you. We're going to finish with one of the coolest cars we've seen. We're a Mach-E channel, so of course we like that it's a Mach-E, but it's a NYPD Mach-E. We got some really cool stats and details on it coming this summer. And it is actually in space white. You would think that it would be star white, but no, they picked space white. They're going to have about 100 of these, I believe. This thing is fully outfitted. It has a slidable front window that is reinforced. It has bulletproof stuff embedded and even just the lighting system on top. This is visible from above and below, as you can see in the Here, we'll, we'll show you the ceiling. So the lights go up as well as like all around directions. There's so much stuff thought out about this, and this is obviously a GT, so there is power right at their fingertips. What better application for this vehicle? And so cool to see something so beautiful and interesting and new and awesome being used by NYP. And everybody else is interested in it. They're <laughs> crawling all over it and under the supervision of the police. But thank you for taking this tour. I'm sure we missed some EVs. We try to run all around. This has been a, a, a fantastic event. There's so many EVs here. If you are in the New York area, come check out the New York Auto Show, International Auto Show. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, stick around and subscribe while you're here. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. And remember that whatever you drive, even if it is not a space white police cruiser, enjoy the ride. Bye. Or you may get ridden in the back of one of these. Enjoy that no, ride. No, don't, don't do that. Don't. <laughs> Bye.